What's going on, everyone? Happy Sunday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. Um, if you're doing any activities this weekend, hopefully you're doing some socially distanced activities. And, of course, if like always, if you had to take a COVID test, I hope you've tested negative. And if you ended up testing positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long COVID issues. Alrighty, it's time for the wastewater update for Sunday, July 23rd, 2023. Starting off with BioBot Analytics, we do see a couple things going on here. There's good news and there's bad news. Let's do the good news first. The good news is the West Coast on this chart at this time is dropping and the Midwest is slightly dropping. The bad news is the southeast continues to rise and the northeast continues to rise and not only rise, but rise much faster. There's a lot of summertime events going on in the Northeast right now, including summer vacations. Uh, there's a Pocono race this weekend up in Northeast Pennsylvania. There's a lot of events that's going to fuel this surge to keep on going. Uh, August is coming soon in upstate New York, which means that will be the Saratoga Raceway will be in session soon. So all these uh, traditional summer events, it's just, it's already started. Some of them have already started. It's just fueling the surge. Uh, let's take a look at the CDC wastewater site. If this is the first time you have seen a wastewater video, what we do here is we look at the levels of COVID being detected in wastewater. When you go to the bathroom, yes, I'm going to say it, you go to the bathroom, it goes through a sewer system. And that sewer system, some places, it can be detected, the COVID levels. Now, not all places are detected. Some people have private septic tanks, private sewer systems, we can't detect them in the wastewater sites, and not all counties in the United States have wastewater surveillance, but there's a lot of them. So I'll, let me explain to you what the colors mean. The white ones that you see on the map, those are new sites. There's 164 of them. The darkest blue colors, that's very low levels of COVID. That's 0 to 19%. There's 556 of them this week. A uh, slightly lighter color of blue is 20 to 39 percent. That's 394 sites this week. That's low to near moderate. Then we come down here to this really light color of blue, 40 to 59 percent. That is moderate. There's 160 sites in that category this week. Then you come down to moderate to near high, 60 to 79 percent. That's this orange color. There's 45 sites in that color this week. And then unfortunately, uh, red, which is the highest level of COVID, 80 to 100 percent, there are now five sites. All right, we usually like to start off in the northeast, and that we are going to do. Let's zoom in. I'm already seeing some orange in the state of Maine. We will start up in Maine, and you can see in Franklin County, Maine, very small waste watershed, 1,100 population at this sewer shed, but look at the chart. It's rapidly rising. Now, I don't know if that factors in that there are more people in these places in Maine in the summertime. Remember, Maine is a big vacation land. They actually have signs when you go into Maine say, Maine, the way life should be. Welcome to vacation land, stuff like that. Yes, their population in Maine does go up big time in the summertime. I don't know if these wastewater sites reflect the increase in number of people that show up in the summertime. Let's take a look down by Portland. And you can see here Cumberland County, Maine. Doesn't update all that frequently. But the ones that are updating are uh, relatively flat to slightly dropping at this time there's a few new wastewater sites here showing up that's good to see i like to see new wastewater sites and a couple of the other ones did not report this week let's just go down here to a big one here's boston 2.4 million people this is one of the bigger wastewater sites there's a few multi-million population sites that we'll see today this is one of them and as you can see here it's not updating all that frequently, but on the most recent update, it went up, and then it did um, level off. Not good to see it going up, and I'm seeing orange up here in Vermont. Wow, Chitterton County, look at this. This is Burlington. This is one of the bigger sites in Vermont. It's now in the orange at uh, moderate, and it was rapidly rising, and it's still uh, steadily rising at this time, so that is not 
good to see. Then here's another Chitterton site that, believe it or not, is actually dropping. Let's go down to Windsor, Vermont, 4,500 population. This site's slightly dropping. How about we come down here to Bennington, Vermont, 15,000 population and slightly dropping at this time. We do also want to take a look at New Hampshire. And as we can see here, New Hampshire, yes, Sullivan County, 6,500 population, smaller site. It is slightly starting to rise. Back to Massachusetts. How about we go over to Worcester? Or Worcester. And you can see here, 42,000 population. And that is unfortunately rising at this time. Then we come further west, and you can see 55,000 population at this site, and it is slightly starting to rise. Providence is in the moderate, and wow, Providence is still rising. At some point, I do think Providence is probably going to make the leap over to high um, transmission of COVID. I think it's just going to happen. Let's take a look at Connecticut. New Haven, Connecticut. Smaller wastewater site, but not good to see. 19,500 population, and rapidly rising at this time so so far here we go hartford connecticut rising at a steady pace 25,000 population another new haven 112,000 population rising at this time so you can see here uh the northeast wow fairfield county connecticut rapidly rising i mean every site we're clicking on in connecticut is going up please if you live in the northeast united states please take precautions we are going to see a lot more orange sites pop up on the map and maybe even some red sites if these trends continue. Uh, how about uh, New York State? I'm, I'm even afraid to look at New York State. Let's see here. Albany. It's It was dropping. Now it's level. Is it going to start rising? I don't know. That's not good to see. There's a Saratoga site that we want to look at. And that's one of the bigger sites. Here we go. Saratoga. 152,482 population. Lowest level at this time, but mind you, after a prolonged drop, it is now flat. And like I said, we do have Saratoga horse racing coming up in August. We'll be interesting to see what happens with that. Sullivan County, New York, smaller wastewater site, 4,548 people, rapidly rising. Let's go out to western New York, where we do have uh, one of these sites are red. Wow, 12,216 population. Uh, Niagara County, 48,196. It's at moderate and rapidly rising. Then we have Ontario, which is not updating. Another Ontario, which is updating, 17,036 population. And just quickly, just going through a whole bunch of sites here, you can see there's quite a few sites that are either flat or rising at this time. Monroe County, that one was rising. This one is flat. All right, let's go down to the lower Hudson Valley of New York State. And Westchester, that one's dropping at this time. Let's take a look at Long Island, Nassau County. Not too bad at this time. How about New York City? We suspect New York City could start rising again soon. Here's closer to Manhattan. That one's dropping. Here's another one. Wow. This site is rapidly rising. Should this continue, that will go moderate. It's low to moderate right now, but that is definitely going to go deeper into the moderate category soon. But meanwhile, Bronx is rapidly dropping. It's very mixed out. Uh, what's going on in New York City. You can see some are dropping, some are rising. Here's one in Queens, that's rising. There's one in Kings, that's rising. Another Kings, rising. Kings, dropping. Uh, how about this one? Queens, this one's rapidly dropping. But we come over closer towards uh, Queens as well, that's dropping. There's another one. We're basically going through every New York City. Kings, dropping. How about Staten Island? North side of Staten Island is dropping. The south side is continuing to rise and rise at a rapid pace. I don't think this particular site has updated, though. That seems to be uh, what we reported on last week. And if it was continuing to rise that fast, it should have made the leap over to the orange color. All right, New Jersey, I'm seeing orange. Wow. Somerset County, New Jersey, 130,000 population. Hasn't updated recently, but when it did, whoosh, straight up. That's not good to see. Uh, how about this one? Monmouth County. Doesn't update frequently, but it is in the orange. Let's just come down here to Delaware for a second. Then we will go to Pennsylvania. Look at all these orange sites in Delaware. I do not like seeing this. Newcastle County, Delaware. This is a big wastewater site. 539,000 population. This site has not updated in a really long time. It's actually a new site. Okay. Oh, uh, wow. It is just rapidly rising. Here's one, another one, Newcastle County, dropping slightly. It's another one in Kent, 130,000. 
dropping slightly. It's good to see all these new sites in Delaware, but dang, they are rising. This this is really concerning. On a smaller wastewater site, rising. Almost all the sites that we're clicking on in Delaware are just rising, except for these uh, sites here, these little sites. Again, this this one really concerns me. Newcastle County, Delaware. That's just south of Philadelphia, and it is rapidly rising. Not good to see. Here's something else that is interesting, though. We do have a lot of new sites listed for Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. Look at this. Look at all these new sites. This is fantastic to see. This is some good news. All right, we do want to come up here and take a look at the Poconos because it is Pocono Race Weekend. We want to see what it is at this weekend and then again um, next weekend. And it doesn't look like these sites are updating these uh, new sites. Let's see, when's the last update out of this? No, this has not updated since June, so we can't go by that. Let's take a look at some of the, uh, here's Montgomery County. 10,000 population. It is rising at this time. How about Center County, Pennsylvania? 90,000 on the eastern wastewater site, and it is low but dropping. The western site it has 12,000 population, and it is steady at this time, but in the low category. Allegheny County, Pennsylvania is rising at this time. Let's come down to Virginia, and Virginia is seeing rises in some of their sites. And look at this. We see a lot of white in Virginia, a lot of new sites. How about D.C.? D.C. has a lot of new sites, but... They're always on the map, and they never update. I don't know what the deal is. 1.6 million population at this site, and it is dropping at this time. Let's just skip out here to Chicago. We want to take a look at Cook County, and Chicago is slightly dropping. This is another big wastewater site, 1.2 million. We'll come back to, to uh, Illinois in a bit. Ohio, 52,000 population at this Richland site, and that is slightly rising. Franklin, which is Columbus, that's slightly starting to drop. Here's a Hamilton, which is Cle excuse me, Cincinnati, which is uh, slightly rising at this time. Then we come up here to the area of Cleveland, and Cleveland is slightly dropping at this time, which is good to see. And they are at low levels. We do have a few sites in Ohio that are rising, but not too many. Uh, this is actually not half bad. Here's another one, Williams County, that is rising at this time. And then let's just come over here to Indiana. Let's go near Indianapolis. Hamilton County, Indiana. 98,000 population, rising. Here's another one that's rising. How about this one right here? 800,000 in Marion. And that is dropping at this time. Coming back to Illinois, here's McLean. That is dropping at this time. How about this red site up here in Michigan? And that is actually slightly rising at this time after a prolonged drop so I don't actually know why that is in the red. Uh, let's come out here to Missouri, Miller County. That is slightly dropping at this time. Closer to St. Louis, we do see that there is low levels, but slightly dropping. Here's St. Charles, another one that is actually rising at this time. 44,852 population. And Franklin County is slightly dropping at this time. Let's make our way southward. And we can see here in Tennessee, this is a newer site. Walker, Dade, Hamilton, uh, 400,000 population serviced at this site. And again, it is fairly new, but it started out in the moderate level. That's not good to see. How about North Carolina, Henderson County, 43,633 population. It's moderate, but slightly dropping. Uh, let's come up here closer to Greensboro, 116,000 population. And it is slightly dropping at this time, and it is at low levels. And wow, look what's going on down, I believe this is near Charlotte, look at this, all these sites are rising and already at moderate levels, I do not like to see this whatsoever, wow, I mean just a lot of rising sites here, it's part of the summer surge in the south, closer to Atlanta, Clayton County, this is in Georgia now, uh, we are starting to see rises here, it's concerning. Some of these sites do not update all that frequently. The ones that are, the smaller ones, they are rising. There's some more moderate sites in Georgia. And uh-oh, look at Orlando, Orange County. We do have a red site here in Orlando, Florida. 50,000 population. Not good to see. And that is backed by some of the bigger sites that are also starting to turn orange. Here's another one, which is 85,700 population. 
and rapidly rising, literally going straight up on this chart. How about Miami Dade? I'm seeing a red site here as well. And this is one that doesn't update all that frequently, but it is in the red now. Not good to see. Uh, Florida, I hate to say this, no offense to anyone that lives in Florida, but because of governing policies and not taking COVID seriously, it really is America's virus trap. Uh, here's another Miami date that does update. All these sites are rapidly rising. Here's one that doesn't update all that frequently. It's already orange, and it's literally going straight up. Not good to see, my friends. Terribly concerning. Let's make our way westward now. Uh, let's take a look at an Alabama County. Jefferson County, flat at this time. How about Dallas area? These sites don't always update all that frequently. Of course, the smaller site does. But uh, that one is rapidly rising at this time. It's already low to moderate. Here's Tarrant County, 1.2 million. Slightly dropping at this time. That's good to see. Let's come over here to Colorado, shall we? What's going on there? I'm seeing a red site. And this county is 19,286 population and rapidly rising. Let's go up closer to Denver. Some of these sites are not updating all that frequently. Let's take a look at this one. Adams County, slightly rising. A lot of these sites are either slightly dropping or slightly rising at this time. Continuing our way westward. We'll do a few on the west coast. Then we'll go back to some of the Midwest and we'll end the video. Let's take a look at this orange site right here. Shall we? Monterey. 15,000 population. It is in the orange, but it is dropping at this time. Orange County, California, is flat at this time. Los Angeles doesn't update all that frequently. Flat at this time. Then we have an orange site up here in Washington State. 21,761 population. And it is rising rapidly at this time. It could eventually turn into the red if that should continue. And taking a look at Oregon, not too concerning in Oregon. We're actually seeing places that are dropping at this time. And again, that could be part of the reason why we are seeing drops in the West Coast. Let's take a look here in Nebraska, shall we? We do see some orange sites in Nebraska. Dodge, look at this one, rapidly rising at this time. Here's another one, Lancaster, Nebraska, 200,000 population, rapidly rising. And we will finish today on Minnesota and Wisconsin. And here we do see that there is a rise in some wastewater sites. And some of them are holding flat. And let's quickly just take a look at a few sites in Wisconsin. And as you can see here, there are some uh, sites that are rising. Some are dropping. But for the most part, you're looking at the colors here. It's low or just slightly higher than uh, the lowest level, which again is not terribly concerning at this time. Here's one that's 9700 Lincoln County. That is actually starting to uh, rise a little bit, so that's one we will have to pay attention to. Alrighty folks, that does it for this week's look at COVID in wastewater. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel down below. If you know anyone that needs to see this content, or anyone who keeps telling you, hey, the pandemic's over, it's not really an issue anymore, by all means, show them my channel, and they will get a dose of reality. Alrighty, I will see you all again next time. I'll see you a little bit later on today for the pandemic update. That'll probably be in the 5 to 6 o'clock hour. But until I see you again next time, stay safe, everyone, and thanks for watching.